What is going on everyone? Welcome back to TTP Sports and the Phillies. They take this first game from the New York Mets. They win it by a score of 4-3. to three. And of course it got stressful at the end because you know bullpen. Archie Bradley, Ian Kennedy. The offense not being able to score runs later when certain situations they had runners in scoring position maybe could have got those extra insurance runs. But surprisingly Ian Kennedy with a one run lead in the ninth inning didn't blow the save nor allowed a home run. I'll honestly give him credit. He had guts. I'll give credit where credit is due. We've harped on Ian Kennedy the entire season, and rightfully so. But thankfully tonight, he stepped up and got the save in the more important W in this first game of the series against the New York Mets. Zach Wheeler on the mound today wasn't his sharpest. He was fairly sharp early on in the first three innings, but just that fourth inning just lacked command. Some reason he just lost it. And couldn't go past six. He only goes five innings in this ball game. It wasn't for him pitching bad, I would say. It's just that he didn't pitch good enough. I think that's the right term. Didn't pitch good enough. And especially coming off the bullpen game last night. Really needed a good game from Zach Wheeler. At least six, seven innings. And he didn't give you that today. But thankfully, we... Avoid the loss in that situation. The bullpen stepped up for us, surprisingly. Except for Archie Bradley. And we got the W. And thankfully, it's also against the Mets, who are one of the worst offenses in baseball. Because they had their chances in this game, and they barely scored any runs when they had their chances. They cashed in more in that eighth inning against Archie Bradley, but they had some earlier chances against Zach Wheeler and only managed to get one run. They had a chance against Jose Alvarado in the sixth inning. They couldn't get anything cashed in there. So, thankfully for that, Brad Miller coming up clutch once again in September with another moonshot. Bryce Harper continues his hitting streak, and the Phillies with situational hitting getting sack flies in this ball game. So, yeah. And there's a, a little bit of, I wouldn't say controversy, there's just like a lot of bad calls in this game. The umpire umpiring was just bad home plate umpire was bad just a very bad strike zone it was very off and on inconsistent and there was a it was in the eighth inning Kevin Pillar he gets the third run of the game for the Mets and at this point the Mets didn't have their challenge and they were asking the umpires to challenge the play and in hindsight when you lose your first challenge well the only challenge that you have you don't have another challenge for the rest of the ball game but apparently there's a rule that in the eighth inning later on, well, in the eighth inning and later, it's up to the crew chief to decide if they want to replay a certain play, which I find to be absolutely stupid because what's the point of a challenge? I, I just find that absolutely stupid. It didn't make or break the game. It was just something that bothered me in that setting. So, but the umpiring overall for both sides was just very bad, but I digress. It's a win for the Phillies and I got to stop being such a Debbie Downer. It's just this game was very frustrating, as every Phillies game this season has been. So, the Phillies, they get on the board first in the top of the second inning. JT Ramuto with a bloop single in the right field. He manages to steal second base during Didi Gregorius' bat as well. And then Didi manages to get him over the third base. And then you have a great at bat by Freddie Galvis. Works it to a 3-2 count. Gets the sack fly to center field. Makes it a 1-0 Phillies lead. But then the Mets... They start to wake up on Zach Wheeler in the fourth inning, and this is an inning where Zach Wheeler just for some reason lost all control over the pitches. He didn't have command at all. You get a Brandon Nimmo leadoff single, and then you get Francisco Lindor. He gets the first out of the inning, striking him out. But then Zach Wheeler, he hits Pete Alonso. He walks Michael Conforto to get the bases loaded. Then Javi Baez gets a RBI single to Bryce Harper, tying the ball game up at one. Get a little bit of a mound visit. He gets Jeff McNeil to line out, and he gets James McCann to line out as well. So, you only allow run, run one run when the Mets have the bases loaded, so credit where credit is due to Zach Wheeler. Go top five. Brad Miller crushes a home run to center field. Makes it a 2-1 to one ball game. Then we go to the top of the seventh inning for the Phillies. Didi Gregorius, he gets a walk. Then Freddie Galvis gets a walk. Brad Miller gets a single. So you get a bases loaded situation for Matt Vierling. And he gets a sack fly to make it a 3-1 ball game for the Phillies. 
And during this inning as well, Joe Girardi gets ejected because during Matt Joyce's at bat, there was a check swing that was called a strike. It was very close. There really wasn't any replays to tell if he swung or not. But the third base umpire said he swung. It was a strike. Joe Girardi didn't like it, got ejected, argued the entire thing, and he was done. So that's your entire situation right there from Joe Girardi. We go to the top of the eighth inning for the Phillies. Odubel Herrera, he gets a double. Gene Segura then gets a single, so you got a first and third situation with nobody out. Bryce Harper just gets the end of the bat on it, couldn't drive it deep enough to score Odubel, so you get the first out of the inning. Then JT Ramuto with not the best at bat in the world against, <laughs> against uh, it was not Brad Hand, it was Familia on the mound at this point for the Mets. It was Brad Hand on the mound against for Bryce Harper, but still a terrible at bat by JT. But then you get Didi Gregorius getting an RBI double scoring. Odubel Herrera making it a 4-1 to one ball game. Then we go bottom eight. And this inning by Archie Bradley. My goodness. It, it was just bad from worse. From bad to worse. He just couldn't locate his pitches. Pitches were going all over the place. JT wanted it one location and it ended up in another. Francisco Lindor leads off that inning with a double. But then he gets Pete Alonso to ground out. Michael Conforto, he gets a double that scores Francisco Lindor. Manages to strike out Javi Baez. Then you get Kevin Pillar doubling the Bryce Harper. Makes it a 4-3 to three game. Then you get that whole umpire review case, which originally Kevin Pillar was called out. They went for the review, and he was called safe. So it was still a 4-3 to three game at that point. Phillies elect to bring in Ian Kennedy. He gets the last batter, James McCann, in the eighth to strike out swinging. Phillies have a chance in the top of the ninth inning. Matt Vierling gets hit by a pitch from Edwin Diaz. He steals second base. Ronald Torres, he flies out. Then Odubel Herrera grounds out, so you can't bring home Matt Vierling at all when he gets into scoring position. So you go into the ninth inning. Ian Kennedy, Jose Peraza, two pitches to him that for some reason swings 2-0, flies out to Bryce Harper. Jonathan VR battles in his at bat, fouls off a couple of pitches, lines out to Bryce Harper. Brandon Nimmo swinging at the first pitch, sends a deep drive to center field, dies at the warning track right to Odubel Herrera, and that is where your ball game ends. Also, Didi Gregorius made a great play in this ball game as well, made a diving play to get a force out at second with a no look backhanded play to Gene Segura at second. It was just a great play, so I was like very surprised to see that out of Didi Gregorius there. So, we go to the box score for today's ballgame. Zach Wheeler, wish he went deeper into this game. He only goes five innings, allows four hits, one earned run, one walk, six strikeouts. That pitch count was just getting up there and up there and up there, especially in that fourth inning. Need a lot better out of Zach Wheeler. Jose Alvarado, he pitches an inning, does not allow a hit, no runs, only one walk and one strikeout. Solid performance from Alvarado. Sam Coonrod comes in, allows one hit, strikes out one, good performance out of Sam. Archie Bradley, disastrous performance, only records two outs, allows three hits, two earned runs, and strikes out one. Ian Kennedy pitches an inning and a third for the save, and he strikes out one. For the lineup, Odubel Herrera, he goes one for four with a run score. Gian Segura, one for four. Bryce Harper, one for four. JT Romuto, one for four with an RBI. Didi Gregorius, one for three with an RBI and a walk. Freddie Galvis, he goes over two with a sack fly. Brad Miller, he goes 2 for 4 with the solo shot in this ballgame. Matt Wheeling goes over 2 with a sack fly. And Zach Wheeler goes over 2. Then you get your various pinch hitters. Matt Joyce went over 1. Ronald Torres came into this game eventually. He went over 1 in the at bat that he had. In terms of runners in scoring position, Phillies went 3 for 12 and they left 6 runners stranded on base. So you win this first ball game. Looking at the standings currently. You are now 75 and 72, two and a half games behind the Atlanta Braves for first place. Right now, the last time I checked from this app, they were losing 4 to 2 to the San Francisco Giants in the top of the sixth inning, and I'm going to double check that right now. Yes, they are losing 4 to 2 to the Giants now in the bottom of the sixth inning. And for the Mets, with this loss, they are now 72 and 76, four games below 500. They are six games behind the Atlanta Braves. And right now, they're basically this entire series, they're most likely going to be playing spoiler for the Phillies right now in their race. But the first game they failed, and the Phillies win this game. In terms of the wild card right now, the Phillies, they're two games back. 
St. Louis still holds that wild card spot. San Diego, they're a half game behind the Cardinals. And Cincinnati, they're also a half game behind the Cardinals. But the Padres and the Cardinals, they actually played each other today. And I'm not sure if that game is still underway. I believe it still is if it pops up for me. Yes, St. Louis is beating the St. Louis is beating the Padres eight to two. And guess who was on the mound for the for the San Diego Padres? Vince Velasquez. <laughs> and the first couple of batters that he allowed, single, double, and a home run. <laughs> classic, classic Vince Velasquez. So classic. So you get this first win. Now you go in the last two games of the series. Both 7 o'clock games. Tomorrow, 7.15. Sunday, 7.08. Both nationally televised games. Tomorrow, 7.15. Aaron Nola going up against Carla Carlos Carrasco. Aaron Nola, disastrous season. Not as good as a pitcher on the road. Better at home, but still has been a disastrous season. We don't know what to expect from him. Sunday, 7.08. ESPN. Kyle Gibson going up against Rich Hill. We don't know what's going to happen. I, I, the offense, in my opinion, needs to be better in these last two games. We can't be scoring four runs just because I don't trust the Phillies pitching. I just don't. Not right now, especially with tomorrow's game with Aaron Nola on the mound because you have no idea what you're going to be getting from Aaron Nola. I have no idea. That's why the offense really needs to step up tomorrow and Sunday as well. Just need it. We desperately need it because win the series, and then you're going to have a big stretch against terrible teams, the Baltimore Orioles and the Pittsburgh Pirates. And I think the Baltimore Orioles were the first team this season to lose 100 games. They just lost their 100th game tonight. And imagine going into that series against the Baltimore Orioles, the Phillies who desperately love to play down to their competition. Desperately. But I'm looking too far ahead into the future. Way too far ahead. Still got two, these two games against the Mets. Let's see what the Phillies do. See what they do. I'm not going to get drug in again, but like I said, I'm going to take it day by day like I always do with this team. So, that is going to do it for this video, everyone. What are your thoughts on this game? What are your thoughts on the Phillies' performance? Zach Wheeler, the bullpen, the offense, just everything. I want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do not forget to leave those down there. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Do not forget to check out the Panda Lines, which I'm a part of. Their links are down in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out the Panda, not the Painted Lines. I already said that. God, my brain is melted. Don't forget to check out Broads Media, the Flyer Up Pod merch website, and also for link for Flyers Nitty Gritty. All that good stuff is down in the description below. And the most important thing you can do is hit that subscribe button. I will greatly appreciate that. And I will see you next time.